default. Samurai's testimony. <clears throat> we should probably go to Castle Astroja for it. Oh, hmm. Well, I could go to Castle Castle Zval Bailey's. It's probably better to Oh no no no. I can't go to Castle Astroja. I have to go to Castle Zval Bailey's. Fuck. Ooh. That's a pain in the ass. Alright, well. Don't really have a choice here. Um so we'll get that first, and then we'll fi we'll sort out how exactly uh, we're gonna go about uh, strategizing. Okay, what is this stuff? The stuff that I was trying to sell, caliber ring. Okay, yeah, I need that. Oh, okay, yeah, this was stuff on the AH. So the caliber ring I sent myself from my other character. Okay, cool. So we're gonna take a book to um, Zarkabard. Call a bunch of our friends. That will not, you know, our trusts. Jesus, why am I calling them friends? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Valdania. Yep, Zarkbar. Alrighty. Let me turn the volume up in the game. It's a little low for me, even. Go. Alright, first things first. Let's get these trusts out. So we're kept on XP right now. So there's no reason to even have, like, yeah, see, look at that, we're capped. Mm. Which is fine. Just totally fine. This is just for the walk uh, over to Castle's Ball Bailey. So it's. West, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to find out where the gore demon spawn. There's two types of uh, demons who drop it: the gore demon and the blood demon. Um, I don't know how prevalent those spawns are. You could probably look it up right now. And I'm probably gonna have to follow some of the maps. Sorry, the sound keeps cutting it, cutting in and out. It's because I'm going off the, um, going off the, uh, window. Okay, it looks like it's actually going to be kind of deep in. Hmm. You know what? Wide scan will help a lot. So there was a cutscene. Remember for the Magicite mission that takes place here. But to get down there, you gotta go to the right. See if I can get between these two dudes without aggro. Success. So we'll be able to fight our way through uh, Castles of All Baileys. It's probably better to do that than bother with like sneaking invisible the whole way because once I find the spawn areas I'll be fine and then I'll just be going ham killing all the spawns I can find so that's the castle up there these guys are gonna aggro or not okay cool If I don't have to fight him, I won't.
I have a feeling that the drop will actually come somewhat quick. Oh, okay, these are all too weak? Alright, I thought maybe some of these guys might aggro. Castles Valdelis. We're about to enter. There's a there's a book inside of here too, so travel will be pretty easy between uh, anywhere we need to go and back. Let me see how many spawns there are for the <coughs> a blood demon. Six spawns. Ouch. Okay. I I know where that is now. Because it's it's also where you get the coffer keys. Oh, that's kind of deep in, and that's kind of a pain in the ass, actually. That's that spot is actually a pain in the ass, <laughs> just to get to. So I'm gonna have to bring up the maps. There's four maps for this place. And we need to go pretty deep into the castle. So you actually can't go into the castle through the front gate. You have to go into the castle through, um, <coughs> through a lower level, which is not difficult to get to at all. The difficult part is knowing the right places to drop off. Because if there's these drop off points and if you if you're not in the right area you have to recycle back. And it's kind of annoying. But the good thing okay, so another a cool thing though is that well, okay, it actually doesn't matter. I was gonna say I can get a warrior's testimony here too for my warrior. But, um, I actually don't even need to. It's not even important. Okay, so we need to make a right here. Go down below. And then there should be a staircase dead ahead that leads down. So the, re the only reason why these guys are not aggroing is because I'm not, like, literally two levels lower than I am right now. So usually the gate is right there. So now we're in. This place can be kind of a maze. Kind of a quagmire. Let me see. So I just came in through there, turned right. Do I need to go B or C? Either one. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, I think we'll go B. So we're going north right now. Okay, there's a path that's blocked off. Okay, okay, I see what I gotta do now. So this place is very gauntlet-esque. All di the different types of beastmen uh, across the land spawn here. Neutral zone demon, uh, neutral zone beastmen, uh, and uh, affiliated beastmen. So you can drop down. If you drop down all the way. Of course, there's going to be some. Pretty annoying demons to deal with. 
I'm just checking really quick to see whether or not... Okay, it doesn't look like they spawned down there. But they very well could. I just don't think that they do. I think they actually spawn in the Demon NM area. So if you look down over the edge here, there's a gate. See that gate on the right? That stops me from getting to where I'd normally go on the lower level. But it's it's not difficult to get there. Just cross over to the side. So as you can see, there's cadavs. There's also Yagado in the area. <coughs> Everything. Goblins, demons, orcs. Um, who am I missing? I think I think that's it. Goblins. Wait, did I already say that? Kadav, orc, Yagado, demons, goblins. Ghouls and ghosts. Then, okay, we're taking B. These guys are gonna aggro. Pretty sure these guys aggro. No? Oh shit. You gonna aggro me, buddy? No? Demon Chancellor, that guy will aggro. Okay, so now that we're at the bottom of B, <coughs> let's see. Uh. <clears throat> okay, let's see what happens if I go east. Or actually, let me check the line scan right now. Or General, Magistrate. Abyssal. There's a blood demon right there. Okay, so he he's actually to the west. All right, let me make sure. No aggro, really? Huh. Okay. All right, I see. So I need to go back up top. Where am I? H6? No, 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 hold on. I went west. Now we're in this room. And then further east is the target. That's top right. Okay. Hey, Count. Oh, okay, that's top right. Uh, north, east, platform drop off. <clears throat> northeast platform, northeast drop off point. Both of those details are important. I know it sounds like I'm just repeating the same thing, but you can actually drop off from a different point, and that'll fuck up everything. So we pretty much just go back the way we came. We we, we came out at a good spot. Hey, the Spiegel. Also, I never noticed that they ha they actually had ambient music in here that obviously doesn't change, but um, pretty cool. Didn't even notice it before. Okay, so this is the northeast. Um, this is the northeast drop, and we need to go to the northeast side of this. So where you see these torches, these double torches at four different locations. One, two, three, four. This is the northeast one. And you gotta land this correctly. There we go. So the blood demon should be in here. Okay, now this guy's gonna aggro, so I'm already gonna engage, actually. There we go. No! Fuck! Okay, did that hit all of us? It looks like it did. Damn it. Okay, Aperiru didn't get hit with it. Or she recovered from it really quickly, I don't know. So these guys aren't going to be the toughest at all. They're probably decent challenge, even match maybe. Decent challenge, okay, cool. Showed the wife and glorious bastards. She never saw it. Oh, dude. What does she think?
Ooh, casting burst, huh? Okay, better end this shit. Don't want him to get that cast off. That'll actually hurt him. Oh shit, we got a Zval coffer key first pop. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there's the blood demon. We need this guy. Okay, see these guys actually see what I'm talking about? <laughs> these guys are a little bit buff. Boom. Okay. So we could do one of two things. We could sit here and wait. Let me see what the respawn timer is on these guys. Because it might be worth it to just wait here. Blood demon. If it's... Okay. 16 minutes. Ouch. Okay. So definitely not... Going to do that. Okay, so there's six spawns of it. Okay, I could count four other ones just from these spots, but that really makes me wonder. Hmm. That really makes me wonder where the other two are. Because if there's four drop points, but six blood demons, also gore demons drop it. So I could have gone to any one of these different rooms here. Wait, are most of them dead ends? I'm not sure. Okay, there's a gore demon. He looks like he's on the southwest side. They, they can also drop it. Actually, there's two gore demons in that vicinity. Okay. So I'm gonna track that one. And then so, we kind of go back the way that we came. It's like re resetting our position. Because you can't jump to any of the other platforms. You just have to re-roll, re so to speak. So it looks like that one is on the, uh, yeah, the southwest drop. Yeah, so gore demons also drop it. Gore demons, I believe, might be higher level than the blood demon. You know what? Actually, that... That might not make sense. The gore demon might be lower level. Because one of them is, like, level 66 to 68, I think, and then the other type... It, like, between the gore and the blood demon, and then the other one's, like, 71 to 73. I think. I don't know which is which. Either way, we can handle it. Southwest drop. Got to deal with the Aramon. It's always. He really loves that sleep gut, huh? I should just pop the gecko to sleep him. Oh, cool. Apparator was out of range. Stygian, that's not who we need. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Red Judicator. Okay, so he's like, oh, fuck. Okay, this is one, okay. I know where we're at now. One of these fucking rooms. There's one of them. Okay, can these aggro from the bottom? Yep, they can. Oh shit, he's casting flare.
Okay, that flare is not gonna hit us. But we have two two aggros now. This could be bad. He's casting Flare again? Dude, he better not land that. They better do something. Someone fucking hit him with a weapon skill. There we go. That'll stop him. Gecko would have been better because Gecko actually silences enemies. Hey, Alien Lee. Do you think Marcel died at the end of Inglorious Bastards? Kind of told me to ask. Marcel? Who's Marcel? Yeah, wait, who's Marcel? Okay, so we may be able to pull some of these other... The black guy who lit the reels on fire. Oh yeah, Marcel totally died. The movie insinuates that he dies. I'm not gonna be able to reach that one. There's also another one over there. Definitely won't reach these. They're a little too far back. Okay, I'm not chasing that shit. Shut up. No casting for you, bitch. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Oh my god, I need them to wake up really bad. You know what? No, I don't. That missed? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. You know what? I'm gonna be smart and fucking drag this dude away. Oh, no! Okay, okay, come on. Oh, shit, finally. Okay, we gotta deal with both of these now. Oh wait, we lost Semilafina. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Count disagrees. Says Terran likes to show people dying, and we and we would have seen it if he did. I kind of agree. No, I, th I think he died. The reason why I think he died is because uh, there's no reason for him to be alive because Shoshana also completed her mission, right? Like, the whole idea was that they were willing to sacrifice themselves and, and all that stuff. He was the closest one. Also remember, he was the closest one to uh, detonation, right? Like, the ship... The shit went off, like, right in front of his face. You know?
Okay, so the gore demons are over there. I'm not really impressed by that. Uh, so in that case, let's see. Go look for another blood demon. I think it's beca because, you, like, yes, Tarantino usually likes to show people dying, but, um, do they really want to have a guy walking around on fire screaming? That's not really a good, like, I know that Tarantino likes to show people dying, specifically bad people dying. He's not really big on showing good people dying, like, extremely horrible and fucked up deaths. I think you're mistaking George R. R. Martin. Or Tarantino. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go to. Oh man, I think I'm actually gonna have to go back and then go in through C. A or sorry, not B. Which isn't a problem. That's that's easy. By going through C, I can get to. Yeah, I can get to where I need to get to. Yeah. Alright. No, but the doors were locked. To make sure that nobody could get out. The whole point was to make sure that everybody got burnt to a fucking crisp, right? It also has all the fucking quintessential moments of, like, making, um, a sacrifice. <clears throat> he has the last cigarette. It's, he doesn't use a match or anything. He uses a cigarette to light it. Tarantino, Tarantino, if, if it's an honorable character, he lets him have an honorable death. How out of place would it be if he was, like, on fire, fucking flailing his arms around? It's like, ah, ah, you know, like that, that would have been really lame. It would, it totally would have cut out the cool factor, you know? Okay. Let's kind of head west and then south. There shouldn't be a break in the uh, terrain. Yeah, yeah, classic off-screen hero death. Yeah, there was the back door, but they he needed to make sure that the back door stayed locked uh, so that no one could escape through that side, right? They, he, it was chained up. He chained it up. Why even chain it up and lock it if you're going to leave through it? That makes no sense, Count. You just want to think that the dude who shared the same name with you didn't die. And I understand that. Like, yes, we all want, like, you know cool characters to, to live through it, but he, he didn't live. If Shoshana didn't live, he didn't live, because he's a support character to her, right? There was no reason for him to live through it. Kira has never- <laughs> Held in ster ster been nicked, right? Yeah. Pretty sure I said that most incorrectly way possible. Okay, so let's see. Need to drop down at the north west side. North. No, no, no. Northeast. Northeast. Ooh. Could have fucked that up. Yeah. Northeast drop. I believe. Yeah, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of details and imagery that hint, like heavily hint at him dying. The story leads you to believe that he dies. Oh look, he didn't sleep go. That's a first.
All right, that's fine. You can disagree. I don't, I don't care. I, I disrespectfully disagree. Is this gonna link? No, that's gonna link. There we go. Nope, fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Oh, yep, yeah, here it comes. Come and get it, fucker. Come on, let's go. Damn, that motherfucker's big. Shut the fuck up. That's that's how you make him shut the fuck up, man, with Gecko. If they're casters. If the damage doesn't shut him up, the silence will. Oh, he's a warrior, huh? He's a warrior. I hold my tongue sometimes for your benefit. I let you have what? what the hell? Where is this coming from? What? Okay, that's fine. What? Uh, what? Why are you getting all serious now, all of a sudden? I I don't have a problem with you disagreeing with me, dude. That's fine. Like, if you think that's that's what happened in the end, then, you know, go for it. Like, I'm not... You know, we, we disagree on it. That's alright. We can... we can... carry on with our lives. It's not a big deal. We don't need to agree on this. Aww. No testimony. Oh shit, Upper is out of MP. No, you're wrong. You spelled your wrong again. Uh but hey, by the way, I, I'm pretty damn good at one handing uh the bra uh takeoff. Oh shit, check it out. And I'm right there. I, I stand by my my uh, bra removal skills. If I drop down and go east, let me see where, where would that take me? Drop down, thing to the east. Southeast, northeast. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Didn't I drop off at the northeast? No, I dropped off at the northwest, right? Oh, when the when the bot raid came in? Yeah. Well, you held your tongue because you were an, because you were actually an asshole in that moment. You should have said they were bots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Marquis Allison. I want to see if he drops, like, Visago. Like, I forgot who drops Visago's guy. Corsair's knife. Oh, he drops the Corsair's knife? Oh, okay. Hmm. Can I shoot him from here? He's level 76. Let me see if I can pick him off from here. Nope. He moved. 
Alright, fuck it. Dude, like, 450 of those people were bots. That, that was, that was like, a probably one of my most cringy moments. Well, you should have, Count. You, you know everything, dude. You were supposed to know. Oh, really? Demon General, okay. No, I, but you know I don't really care. I mean, it's all in retrospect. And was that a drinking night? I think that may have been a drinking night. I'm just glad- white cellar key, what the fuck is that? A wine cellar key, <laughs> but not wine, like wine, like, huh, it's funny. Yeah, so, you know, I can blame it on the alcohol. It just doesn't sound right when you when you say it like that. Blame it on the alcohol, like without the you know the stutter. No, but I think I had already been drinking at the time. Let me see. So that was northeast. Oh, God, it's not gonna find him on this level, is it? Didn't I drop? Okay, did I drop down? Wait, this is not the northeast side. Okay. This is the northeast side. Yeah, so when that initially happened, I thought someone had hosted me. But it was just a flood. I wonder who was doing that in the first place. We never did figure that out. Who was, um, botting me. Oh shit, nice. Gore demon right there. Alright, buddy. Give up the test! Give up the testimony, homie. Yeah, yeah, it might be impossible to figure out. Twitch, Twitch probably knew. Because I, I hit them up to, like, investigate it. And I, I, I don't know if they actually... Yes! Oh, we got the testimony! Dude, nice. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Um... Shit, they may, they may have found out who it was, but... They didn't let me know. They didn't let me know whether or not they actually did find whoever was responsible. I mean, it's not like they would anyway. Okay, so what we do is we... We take that testimony and then we have to trade it to... Okay, okay let, me, let me make sure. Uh, yes, here, bring him a testimony for your job. These are dropped by various monsters to pet Yeah, it's possible to trigger this quest of any of your limit has already been broken in Treasures of Otter, Gun Wings of Gods, or Secrets of Adulin. Even if your limit has already been broken. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Once you bring back the testimony, it's the corresponding levels of the challenge to fight to prove once and for all. Da, da, da. Wipes you to a beast and a mirror after a confirmation. 
No, after defeating Matt for the first time is no longer necessary. Yeah, I know that. For the seven jobs, blah, blah, blah. The fight. Your sub job is disabled for this fight. Right. It is advisable to go to the BCNM using a sub that will enable you easy transportation out afterwards. Yeah. No worries about that. Each testimony can be used a total of three times to initiate the fight if you're unsuccessful. Okay. Matt assumes your job and has most of its abilities. Yeah, including your one hour. I know. Uh, you have ten minutes to beat Matt. Note that any time taken with proper... Shit, I just realized right now. I'm gonna need an Opa Opa necklace. Just dawned on me. And there might not be one at the auction house. And if there is one, it's probably gonna cost like 100k. You know what though? My other character might have it. My other character might have the Opa Opa necklace. I just want to see if it's actually here in the first place. So it should be like level 70 or below. Because <clears throat> otherwise we won't be able to use it. Okay, so there's one in stock. Yep, I knew- <laughs> Fuck, I knew it was going to be like 100k. Okay. It would take me like 30 seconds just to go to my mod house anyway, so I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check if Verboten has one. See if she's got it. Pretty sure she's gonna have it. Because I didn't really have a reason to sell it. What is the challenge anyway? Doesn't say. Nice. Okay. Probably in wardrobe. There it is. I knew it. Okay, so so the whole point of the Opa Opa necklace is that when you're asleep, you you start building tactical points. So this is a strategy that a lot of people use for the map fight. Um, by using a certain number of sleeping potions, you can uh, accrue a bunch of tactical points. Um, so you get a free weapon skill right off the bat. Okay, I... My cooldown for Meiko Shisui is still pending, so that kind of sucks. Um... That means I have to wait 39 minutes before even doing the fight. But, uh... Damn. That's more, more, more than enough prep time that I would need. I should probably be a little bit concerned about my leg slot not being up to date. And I'm gonna check out the, uh, there's a guide for a samurai. I've never done the samurai one, so I'm, I'm curious. Okay. Let's see. Enter ungeared. Gear up on BC. Entry and me uh, meditate twice. Oh, I could have just meditated and waited. Totally forgot about that. 
should use Carbonara, Strength Potion, Engage Mat, use Sekonoki, Tachi Gekko, Tachi Hobaku, 2 Hour, or we'll make Yoshisui, Tachi Gekko, Tachi Gekko, Tachi Hobaku. The two Hobakus are good for stunning Mat long enough to survive. I did 2,667 damage to Mat while he did 749 damage to me. 66 Samurai Galka with decent gear. Haberjan, Omoka, Omokage, Pole Grip, Coral Earrings. Uthlum's ring, Ekphoria ring, Sapahi turban, Amamit mantle plus one, sword belt plus one, Shinimusha haidate, Horumusha kote, and Myochin sunaute. Fight took about seven minutes total, total due to the meditates before, the two meditates before engaging. Just under two minutes to defeat Matt. Okay. It is very unlikely that you will win this fight using a Sovoro Sukuhiro. I tried using a Sovoro try twice and I was defeated each time. Switch to a Zambato and one. Just my experience. You're welcome to try it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Carbonara would be pretty good. I just it's just gonna cost a lot. Okay, so necklace. Yeah, so you know I actually didn't even need this necklace. <laughs> Cause I forgot Samurai has meditate. Kinda feels stupid now. So yeah, I, I actually didn't even need to grab that. Uh, think, think, think. Okay, so food, food. Got to get some food for the fight. Could probably also get some leg gear, something to wear on my bottoms. So I'm also rank what? What rank am I now? Oh, I forgot to get my uh, rank four. I forgot to return. Over here and get rank 4. It still says I'm rank 3, doesn't it? Oh no, it does say I'm rank 4. Wait, but this is supposed to graduate me to rank 5. Which will give me access to maybe some armor I could wear for the fight. You can use Truss on Matt now? Are you serious? Oh my god. No. No way. I'm pr- Badoops. No way can you use trust in the map fight. You gotta be joking. You know, I wish that for this guy they actually had it, um, dated. Oh cool, we got 10k also. Alright, well, if you say I can use him, I got three shots on one testimony anyway, so fuck it, let's go. I don't even need my two hour. I mean, one hour. <laughs> still, I'm still so used to, to using the term two hour. Okay, why do I have seven items on me? Or, seventy. It's nice that you get three tries on one. I think early on it, it was one attempt per testimony. Oh, whoops. That wasn't so hard now, was it? I bet you're wondering why I keep having you travel around the globe, collecting all these rare and obscure items for me. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're sick and tired of playing fetch for old Matt. You want a chance to show me what you're really made of? Well, now that you mention it, I think I'd be delighted to test your mind and with my own hands. I may look old, but I still have a lot of spunk in me. I can take anything and everything you've got. What do you say? You'll get your chance to get back at me for all the trouble I've put you through, and I'll get some good exercise. You bet. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit! Now, take that samurai's testimony to the burning circle and throw it in. I'll be waiting for you inside. Oh, 
Well, I guess this is why there's no new guide, huh? Oh, Chamber of Oracles. What? Okay, free book. Is there a free book here? Oh, no. There's no books here. There's, um, telepoints, though, right? The fuck? Oh, it makes sense. Actually, this, this makes a lot of sense, now that I think about it. Um... The reason why it makes a lot of sense is because Samurai was released in the Zillart expansion. <clears throat> so it kind of makes sense that you have to fight him in a Zillart area. Kind of nice that you get teleported because it is a bitch. Having to, um, having to deal with, um, getting to this point. <coughs> or getting to this battlefield. A lot of running. Okay, realistically, maybe like 10 minutes of running, but that's it. Even so, it saves 10 minutes, right? <coughs> you are not able to call forth alter egos here. Wow. Awesome. That's so fucking ridiculous, dude. <coughs> Isn't that funny? I'm like calling Denz into the fight. <laughs> There's Matt. All right, Matt. Let me get my group in closer. I'm gonna wait till I get 200 TP. Uh-oh, here he goes. Wow, he got fucked up so easily. That is fucking ridiculous. I can't believe how- Oh, that is just not fair. That is so lame. Okay, so let me like do a quick explanation of- Let me do a quick explanation of, of what that would have been like. Um... So what that would have been like is a one-on-one -on -one fight that probably would have lasted, mm, I don't know, maybe up to five, seven minutes or something like that. But it would have been completely one-on-one. -on -one. And he would have made his Shisui on me, like solo skill chained on me. And I probably would have taken a ton of damage. Um, but yeah, so yeah. That's, uh, that's gonna let me, uh, level up to 75. And then after I hit 75, um... Uh, I'll have to do another limit break, but what I probably want to do at 75 is not immediately do, um, the limit break. I probably want to build up some merit points and pump a bunch of points into, um into my abilities, <clears throat> like reducing your meditate timer and all that good stuff. I have to admit, that was one fine display of ganging up on an old man, Vishpala. 
kind of hard to believe, but did you know that Juno was once a run-down, tiny little fishing village? Now look at her. There isn't a soul in Vanadil who doesn't know her beauty. Let me tell you a story. Long ago, there was a young man, captain of a fishing boat. He was... who? Uh, whoops. Let me redo this. Long ago, there was a young man, captain of a fishing boat he was, who lived a modest life in the peaceful harbors of Juno. It was often hard for him to make his ends meet, but he and his fishing buddies had no complaints. They loved their tiny village. However, one stormy night, fate came knocking at his door when he rescued two strange lads from the nearby waters. From that day on, the wheels of change began to turn. There was something different, something special about those two. They possessed a great deal of knowledge and leadership, and in just a short period of time, they transformed Juno into a significant dot on the map into a giant metropolis. At first, the captain welcomed these changes with open arms. However, later he began to ask himself if all this was truly for the good of Juno. Or if the city was just being used as a piece of some bigger plan put into motion by the two mysterious men. But by then it was too late. Juno and the people living within her walls had changed. There was no turning back. And so the captain decided, while he still had life inside his bones, he would make it his mission to remain and watch over his hometown. Good day, man. Oh, if it isn't Dr. Monborough. You are looking quite healthy these days, old chap. As healthy as a hobgoblin, thanks to your treatment. You sure know how to keep your patients happy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my job. By the way, hmm? you mentioned this captain watching over Judo. What exactly was he making sure of? Hmm, well, he was probably just making sure that everybody was happy. You know, I think you're probably right. There are many, there are many things out there that threaten the happiness of all Geronians, and he could stand and sit back and watch that happiness be snatched away from him. Matt. Um, uh, will you look at the time? I must be getting back to the infirmary. Take care, my friend. Don't you worry, Doctor. I always do. Oh, and you keep working on Wolfgang. Once he sees what's really going on in this place, he'll start to change. I know it. As do I. Now, oh, where was I? Ah, as much as I long to see it, it's likely I won't be around when the truth finally comes out, but young adventures like you will. That's why I want you to be all that you can be. Do not forget the hardships you have endured to make it this far. But maybe one day you, too, will find something worth giving your life to protect. They say that where there is a beginning, there is an end. However, I believe that some things, like memories, don't have to end. That is where you young folk come in. And that is all this simple old man can ask for. Badoops. Oh shit, Puppet Master. Oh Shaolin Belt? What the fuck? Light Weaver? Is she like... Like a 99 Cloth Crafter or something? Okay, so now we can ding to 75. Let's go do that. I think I'm gonna go back to Babiki Bay. I should probably put away some of this stuff. Also, let me see what the wine cellar key is for. I've never seen that item, ever. Using quest recollections. 
Okay, what quest is that? Black Mage level 50? Level finder? What? As a level 50, 50 Black Mage. Oh, the rewards Wizard Sabots. Oh, okay. I can throw that away. Because <laughs> we don't play mages on this stream. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I'm kind of serious. Oh, I should NPC these shell busters. Too bad there's no NPCs around here. The Lower Juno. So yeah, um, I'm not even gonna bother getting my Samurai AF until I'm like 99. The only, there's only one piece that I really need from that, but I'm gonna collect the whole thing anyway. Wow, 95 for a shell buster? Dude, those used to sell for more than that. That's right, Barb. You you just keep inflating that economy, bro. Keep introducing money into this economy. Fuck it up for the rest of us. Whoa, fifty-four warrior. Look, she's wearing she's wearing the the dar oh what she's wearing the mithril queer the breastplate. Yo, that is so old school. That is cool, dude. 54 warrior white mage! What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, lace tornado. Oh, you cracked me up. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I love the mithril set. I think it's one of the best looking sets in the game. Except for the salad. The mithril salad is, is a no-go. I still think one of the coolest helmets is actually the Iron Musketeer Arvid. Just because it completely masks your face and stuff. That used to be like... Before... At, okay, so... Bef there was a time... <laughs> when the level cap was actually 50. Yeah. Zillart raised it to 60. But there was a time when it was, uh, 50. And the best armor that you could get your hands on... <laughs> the best armor you could get your hands on was, um... was Iron Musketeer armor, dude. Iron Musketeer and, uh, the Mithril plate armor. And that was it. It was the highest defense armor you could get your hands on. And the Iron Musketeer armor actually had stats on it. It had vitality stats. Also keep in mind, that means level 54 rings were not available. And the best thing that you could get would be HQ level 36 rings, which would be like plus 3 to each stat. Crazy to think about, you know? And this is even before... Did Paladin even come out at that point? Or, or is Paladin a Zillart... I think Paladin was a Zillart release, right? So they didn't even have a Paladin back then. It was like... It was just the, the, the super basic jobs. We're talking Warrior, Thief, White Mage, Black Mage, Monk, Red Mage. And that's it. Six jobs. And that's it, dude. Fucking crazy. Oh, it's still tough, huh? Alright.
Alright, so this is gonna be a pretty quick climb. Up to 75. <coughs> So this music um, came out for the um, for Chains of Promathia. It was a new a new theme for uh, battle or for fighting. I guess I should say that's the right word for the fight fight music. It's actually one of my favorite pieces of music in, on, on the soundtrack. Yep, yep, that's what that's what I'm gonna do to Spiegel. Get 75 merit like get as many merits as I can. Actually, you know what? I should merit at 99. It's way better meriting at 99. I, I take back what I said about meriting at 75. Yeah, get the merits for the um Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Get the merits for the uh limit break quest. Okay, why the fuck is this guy on me? It's like relax, homie. I'm waiting until I get 200, just so I can fucking clean this guy's clock. One more swing. I'm gonna finish him off. Ah, fuck. Ah, I jumped the gun. So, on my other character, I got a caliber ring. 150% bonus, dude. As soon as this XP dedication wears off, hop in that molly. I kind of wish you would just keep sidewindering. Really? He was able to cast through all that damage, huh? Chiraga too, huh? A little excessive there, Aparu. Might wanna, might wanna hold that MP. Okay, that works. Oh, that guy was a little weak. Oh yeah, we can fuck with Katablepas at this point, can't we? You know what? I think we will. The XP is gonna be better. Very tough. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look, look how good MP is. MP is still like, still got half. <clears throat> yeah, let me let me see exactly how much um, I gotta get for Genkai. Is it five, or did we just do five? Oh, we just did five. Okay, the next one is New World to Wood. Raises level cap to 80. Yeah, that's it. Kindred Seal 
X5, three stored merit points. All right. How many kindred seals do I have on me? Oh, nice. I got 10? Dude, I got that. Then I then I need the the three stored merits. The the shitty thing is that I think you have to go back to all the way back to Matt just to um, unlock that. I don't think you can just toggle it from your menu instantly. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. Well, I mean, what am I saying, dude? It's barely a pain in the ass. Shit. Fucking Opera, dude. She's the best. Fucking love her, man. Now, shut the fuck up. Stop casting that bullshit. Get out of here with that nonsense. Got a little skill up on that, nice. So, so when I was leveling up Samurai for the first time, in, um, on my first run at this game, before I got my Samurai to 75, I already had a Warrior, a Dark Knight, and, uh, a Ninja up to 75 and I had some pretty lofty ideas about how I wanted to play Samurai my, my first go around um, so I spent a lot of time uh, <coughs> oh shit it wore off okay caliber ring Okay, you guys want to see some fucking sick, sick, sick XP? Here we go. This dedication is gonna be insane. What? Well, watch this shit. Oh yeah, so I had a quick question. Can you refill those caliber rings? Like at the um at the NPCs? What do we get XP wise on that? 1535. God You know, I think I have an Ekadring. I have an Ekadring on um, Verboten. I'm gonna send that to myself. Oh, fucking Healing Breeze, dude. I missed. Oh, that hurts. I think that Ikadring is 150% too, huh? Yep, it's 150. 
And that thing, dude, that recharges like what? Once every two hours or some shit? Yeah, no, that's it. That's the account ring, dude. Yeah, I have that on, um, on Verboten. And yeah, and you can send them between characters. Oh shit, she aggroed the Tragopon. Dude, I just- we just got 3k on one enemy with a kindred seal. Fucking nice. <clears throat> yeah, 3k. Pretty fucking nice. Don't fuck this up. Sorry, I was, uh, talking to summon Lafina. That 30k won't last long? It won't. You are right, it won't. I've had a lot of experience with it not lasting long. There we go, another 3k. Yeah, it lasts for like, dude, like, especially at 99, like in Boyata Tree, <laughs> it doesn't last for shit. It lasts for like 10 minutes. And granted, you get a ton of experience in those 10 minutes, but it's pretty nice. Fucking stealing my thunder, dude. Come on, man. Some of Lafina hitting for like subpar sidewinders and shit. It's like, do you ever change your ammo? Some of Lafina is that ranger who still uses wood arrows at level 70. Like using a fucking repeater bow and shit. Like, she she has on like the power, like She's got like the Yuri Toast bow on when you when you meet her. But somewhere like mid-fight she switches over to like the power bow or the repeater bow or something and like switches to like the shitty ammo. I had a friend who used to do that. So he would like So to get into parties, uh what he would do is he would use a bow that had the same I think it had the same model. As a Yuritos' bow. And he would put, like, the best ammo in the slot. And then when they started fighting, he'd swap out the ammo for, like, the shitty ammo. The cheap-ass ammo. Oh, that guy's too high. Yeah. Lagger. I don't want to fuck with that. We're not that high up yet. May as well just kill these two gobs. Okay, or not. Because they're probably gonna link. Yeah, there's a bunch of cattle blood pus back there anyway, right? Great. Fuck this. Shut up. They they weren't they weren't gonna be able to stop that anyway, so may as well save my own ass. Very tough. Maybe we can fuck with these guys.
Oh yeah. Oh shit. You gonna cost you that shit, Tenzin? No? Tachikasha is a weapon skill. I technically I can get it now if I want, but um I'm not really gonna bother. Because it's gonna I'll probably do it at 99 as well. Level 99. By that time I'll have access to like other weapon skills that are probably even better. Let's see, what is my skill at right now? I'm guessing 238? 244, alright. Oh, fucking healing breeze. Oh, good job. They aggroed the bird, you dumb fuck. And it's an even match. Is that gonna- that, you know what, that'll keep the chain going at least. So, I'm almost at 72, which... Let me see, level 72. What can you rock at 72 as Sam? Uh, one piece of... AF2... The Fuma Suneate, which has haste on it. Um, what else can you equip at 72? There's, there's a few items that you get access to at 72. Yeah, you might want to get over here, Valineral, you know? Tank, aka do your job. That last hit off. Swing, swing, swing. There it is. Oh, what a waste, dude. Oh, I totally wasted that. He had like one hit left. Right, when these Captain Bluffas separate. Those double attacks, though, man. Are these two fucking catablepas gonna, like, get the fuck away from each other, or what? I think you can pull this one off to the side. That one right there. Do not want to fight it here. Yeah, let me let me see what the Fuma is sitting out there. Um, this 
stats were on that. Agility 3, haste three, plus 3%, three HP plus 12, 21 defense. It's a good piece. And then, what was our hat set? Our hat's gi set. There it is. This is uh, Ninja used to use this for tanking. What the feet look like. Our hat's set out there. Evasion plus 4, enmity plus 1. You want to hear some crazy shit? Um, <laughs> so, was it for the Orum Cuses? I think it's for the Orum Cuses. Let me see. Orum Cuses. No. It was. It was. No. It was the Orum Sabatons. So the Orum Sabatons are a piece of level seventy-two armor that drops from armed gears. I know it sounds like something that uh, um, Hideo Kojima would come up with. Armed Gears. Uh, Armed Gears is like an NM in Alzadal Undersea Ruins. Uh, it's, he's a popped NM. Uh, and uh, he's kind of a badass. And what I mean by that is uh, he hits really hard. He hits multiple times, and uh, I really wanted the Orm Sabatons. That that piece of gear probably had one of the best uh, foot slot pieces that you could wear. How much did that do? 1948, new record. What's the cooldown on this ring? Okay, it's all it's already gonna be ready. Nice. So the Orm Sabatons. Orm means gold, of course. These are the stats on on these bad boys. Warrior, Paladin, Dark Knight, Be uh, Beastmaster, and Dragon can wear. They basically look like the Iron Musketeer um, armor, but they're gold. Uh. Accuracy plus 5, attack plus 5, haste plus 2. They're basically like an upgrade. I would say they're basically an upgrade to Adaman uh, Solarets. I was never a big fan of the Adaman Solarets anyway. Let, let me see what this what, what the stats are on Adamant Solarets. So the Adamant Solarets had accuracy plus three, attack plus five, mind minus ten, and let's say you got the Armada. Let's let's say you got your hands on the Ar Ar Armada Solarets, right? Which are the HQ version of that? The stats. Like, marginally better. Accuracy plus 4, attack plus 6. No haste on it. So, the, the Orum Sabatons were sort of like the go to uh, TP piece, tactical point piece for Warrior. And, and Dark Knight, even, I would say. <clears throat> there, was, there was nothing better when they came out at the time. So, I wanted him really, really, really bad. And. Um, I went ahead, farmed all the pop items, shouted for a group, uh, in Ottergon Whitegate, coordinated, um, a full alliance to do runs on armed gears, and I was one of the ninja tanks for that fight. And, uh, I think it took me like three pops it took me like three pops to get the sabatons luckily i didn't have to farm three pop sets so the idea was armed gears dropped a few oh shit no no no
Fuck. I think they I think they linked by sight. So Armed Gears dropped a few different items. Some were useful for mages. Well, let me see what else he dropped. So he dropped the, the Orm Sabatons, the Thunder Grip, Oracle's Gloves. Oracle Gloves are kind of like whatever. And then some people just need the Armed Gears Fragment. And so if somebody, if it was their pop and they didn't need the Orm Sabatons, they, they wouldn't take them. And then they would go... They would they would just go to free lot to anybody who needed them. But yeah, the uh, the drop rate wasn't too bad. It was like thirty <clears> percent. <throat> oh, and there was also I think uh, a pole arm that was not too bad that dropped off of that too, called the uh, Tomoe. And I think that was equipable by. Let me see. So no, it was not just Dragoon, it was also equipable by Samurai, maybe Warrior, let me see. Yeah, yeah, just, okay, just Samurai and Dragoon. And that that was a pretty decent pull arm as well. But this is all back in the day, completely useless in here now. No reason to even touch it. Oh, he got silenced. So upon hitting 99, we have a whole new list. Oh, he just preserved? That's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, when when the Cataplopus berserks, oh man, the, the kind of damage you can put out is insane. Like that. What? Look at this. This is gonna be like 1506. Sick. But yeah, so a whole new list of things I'm gonna have to do pops up uh, once I hit 99. Uh, getting the next Rhapsody quest done. Um, eventually pushing towards Seekers of Adulin areas. Uh, completing rank 10 in my nation. Uh, trust, like, look, like, Basically collecting some more useful trusts, uh, finishing Zil the Zalart missions, Chains of Promathia missions, uh, starting on Wings of the Goddess, like, basically the game completely opens up. Getting into Abyssia, like, because then, once you're a cap, then all the other endgame shit opens up. And the endgame stuff, in my, in my experience, in my opinion, in this game, the end game material is like plentiful. There is so much of it. Uh, you start being able to really piece together equipment sets that are extremely maximized for what you're doing. You, you can put together a solo set, you can put together uh, a super solid TP set. Whether you're using a pole arm or a great katana or a bow. Uh, you can put together weapon skill sets so that you can really maximize the damage you get out of your weapon skills. It's just, it gets out of fucking hand, dude. It gets crazy.
I really gotta stop looking at my XP bar. <laughs> so soon I'm gonna start finding these tar Tartarus Fs. I could actually push deeper in and, and start fighting those guys now. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll kill some of the, f the few ones that are over here. These guys can be a little bit nasty. Um, but you can fight these guys all the way to 80. All the way to level 80, you can be fucking with these guys, I think. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too um, optimistic. You know, I wonder how much a hay gun is right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious how much a hay gun is. Fifty k, but the last one sold on the fifteenth. It's it's just not even on the auction house. You know, I call it the hay gun, but it's actually pronounced hagun. It just sounds cooler when you say hey gun. Because hey gun would be spelled H E I G U N, right? But it's spelled H A G U N. Oh no. Got the Tragapon aggro. Better finish this guy off quick. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Killing Breeze ain't gonna help. Ding ding, bitch. That's gonna hit a few of them, huh? Blindside Barrage? Isn't that a Kona? It's not? Huh. Okay. Oh, there goes the dedication. See, when they don't fuck up my, when they don't fuck my shit up, dude, like, I can get some work, get some work done, you know? Nope. Sorry, can't let you do that, Star Fox. Motherfucker's trying to Faraga 3S. Like, homie, that's not gonna happen. That didn't skill chain? 
Yeah, I thought Yuki to Gecko was a thing. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. There we go. Oh, I should have saved that for after the Berserk. Oh, it was Agi Boost. Never mind. I thought it just used Berserk. Alright, no AoEs. No AoEs, Simon Lupino. Dude, this Agi Boost is actually showing a little bit. I had a double whiff a second ago. Okay, good job. Good job, Tenzin, you fucking cunt. Look at look what you did. Now we're gonna, now we gotta waste TP on this asshole. Maximum distance pool. Don't cross in front. Okay, you didn't cross in front. Get him, Val. Or don't. I should have cleansed and he tied that. And is that light? Oh. Indira uh, gravitation, okay. This skill this skill chain game is real. pretty well. Oh shit, I forgot to pop Sakanoki there. It's alright. As long as he doesn't healing breeze, I think we'll get the chain. Forty K, goddamn. So I think at level ninety nine is something like fifty six K that you have to get to level. I might have to move up and switch over to the, um, the next set of enemies. The Catabluffes are, are pretty good, but they're, they have more spawns further up ahead. Oh, 
God damn it, again. Fucking did it again. You know, one of, one of my favorite times I had leveling was actually on Thief. Because sneak attack and trick attack, they do like... They almost do like their own damage. Like just just a sneak attack or or an effective trick attack will throw down like weapon skill level numbers, and you have two of them that you can work with at any given time. Thief is just such a fun class to play. Is that gonna aggro? Nope. Nice. It was just out of range, I think. I think we can skirt past the blagger. If not, we'll just fight him, but his evasion is just so fucking high. How about on Torridor? Okay, here we go. It's a red mage, right? Yep, red mage. So now we're gonna start seeing pretty nice numbers of XP, but I'm not sure if this might be a little more than we want to find. Oh my god, it hit him from 143? Oh shit, okay. These guys are a little buff for us. Oh fuck. Yeah, we need to dispel that shit too, dude. Th what? They did light on him and... He's only casting tier 3 though, right? I mean, what the fuck? I might have to two hour for this shit. Okay. Never mind. What should we get for that? 2400. Two seventeen. Holy shit. Okay, these guys are a little... Oh, yeah, these guys are a little too high for us. Wow, that's all that did, huh? Ooh, that's painful. That's... Okay, only hit one of them. Good, good, good. Okay, so like on full MP we get- Oh no! Fucking healing breeze, dude. We- we can- we can handle these if- if we probably are coming in with about full MP. Or half MP on Aperuru, and she's got not up. So, if this actually does chain... Oh my god, it healing breezed again! Oh, that can be a party killer. Alright, Tenzin, Kasha, go. No? Fine. Okay, this motherfucker is trolling us right now. He's just spamming healing breeze. We should be able to finish this guy off now. I don't think he'll- I don't think he'll have another, uh, weapon skill he'll be able to use. Okay, he's got Sonic Wave. What does that do again? Oh, defense down? Ooh. Alright, we got him. Did it change? That is the question. It did. You know what? That actually was, is not worth it. That's not worth it at all. 
think I'll go back to the other area. The other area is way better. When these guys start being like feasible, ex like level wise, they'll be worth it. Because a chain one isn't that much. Like chain two would probably be gain like 32, maybe all the way up to 35, but chain four and five. But as it stands right now, these, this is not worth it. I should stay on those other mofos till I'm like 75. I think I might actually be able to pull this guy without a link. No, no, it's gonna link. Yep, there it is. Ow. Wow. Okay. Getting hurt. Jesus. Missed, didn't it? Yep. Eh. Fuck it. That only gave 780, ouch. So that must mean that guy was, what, a decent challenge? Yeah, the Cataclopus will pump up that XP more. That was a good reverb. There we go, 2K. Side effect Uriel Blade has. Did 
Did Upper use not yet? Based on it, whether or not she used it, I'll, I'll know if I have to use a certain ability. Let me see if she used it. Nope. Okay, she'll have it. Right, one more hit, and then that's a constant you type. That mother. Okay. Well, if his fucking Kasha wasn't so damn weak. Uh oh. Okay. No ad. Good. Alright, I'm actually gonna grab it, right? Uh, Thirsty. That is Hagen. Look at the price history right now. I want to see a long term price history. Export. Oh, damn, it doesn't save more than. Well, it's all like this year. I'd love to see like a long term graph of that. Because that used to be the most expensive, like, probably the most expensive Great Katana you could have in the game. And, and there were multiple weapons that had the same effect, but, um, Samurai's weapon skills... The last three weapon skills that you used to be able to get on Samurai all had very high strength modifiers um, for each tier of the, of the weapon skill uh, potency. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'm gonna be, like, because I'm four levels away from 77, and I have um, a Yukitsugu, which I think the base damage on that is going to be, I think it'll outweigh the necessity, I think. It's, it's fine. Thank you anyway, though, Ouroboros. And you know what, I think I'm going to chain these Fs. My NPCs are really good at fucking that up, aren't they? It's also kind of sad to me. Oh, it, no, I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't be. But it's also a little bit sad to me that I'm doing, like, significantly more damage than Tenzin is doing, even when we're at the same level. And he's supposed to be some badass NPC using like Tachi, like great katana skills that are, that are like supposed to be, I mean they're supposed to be the exact same thing just with different names, but I mean, like what's the point? The 
It's like, isn't that- isn't your blade Phoenix, homie? You have the Phoenix blade. You should be kicking more ass than me, you know? I think I'll wait for the 200. Oh, you know what though? He- the different. I think I know the difference. I don't know if his sub job is warrior. His sub job is- his sub job is probably not warrior. Because he never uses Berserk. He also... Does he double attack? You know, I should take notice more often. Let me see. I'm gonna watch Tenzin. Let's see if he double attacks at all. Okay, that's a, that was a single attack. Single attack. He does have a pretty quick attack speed, though. Oh, that was a double attack, but no, that was a Zanshin activation. Is there another? No. Okay, where's that half at? There it is. Darkness! No? I'm a little confused as to why that... Well, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. She really needs to stop doing that shit. But Star... Like, that's... Her and fucking the line are all. Hey, I'm gonna use this AoE weapon skill, okay? Yeah, could, could potentially get us killed and, you know, cause a bunch of aggro, but ah, fuck it. That was a little close. There we go. And... Where is the ranger? There goes the rush. Oh. oh, there we go. Motherfucker's done, son. Did... Semi probably already fired her off earlier. Without me even noticing it. Nice. I think we're just gonna run up and attack this. Boop.
darkness. No? Oh. I forgot how to do darkness. It's not Yuki to Gecko though, so far as I can tell. I, Yuki to Kasha is light, right? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it hit Operator too. Fucking Sam and Lafina just plugging away. I got a, a full minute of this shit. Oh, this is gonna be funny. You think he'll one shot him? I don't think it will. I think he'll take him down to like 350. 350 HP. Is he actually gonna get it? Oh, what? Oh, shit! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. <laughs> wow. 45 seconds left of this sleep. Stupid Valina. Cure the white mage, dummy. Arrow 4. That's gonna take him down about 250. Oh my god! Never mind. Wow, he needs to really up his elemental weakness game, doesn't he? 15 seconds. You think he'll live? I don't think so. He's casting Cure 1. Oh my god, he just got goblin rushed. Oh Christ. Oh, this is gonna be so close. Oh, good, good woman. Good woman. Right as the sleep wears off. Oh, good job, Tenjin. Fucking idiot. Tenjin is such an asshole, dude. He's always fucking up my, my skill chains. Always. Like, without, without, almost without fail. Like, 7 out of 8. 7 out of 8. He should be ashamed he's still using Jinku. Like, Gekko, Kasha, Yuki only. Come on, man. At this level? There you go. Wow, nice tracking, dude. Nice tracking. Or uh, pathing, I guess I should say. Tracking, pathing, same thing. Only that hit harder.
Oh, what happened to the XP there? Oh, okay. That one just spawned in, so I don't think this is gonna... Oh, fuck. Wait, wait. Okay, no, we're okay. You know, I, I I thought all three of these charges was going to take me to... Oh, wait. You know what? They will take me to 75. Yo, dude, I am 22k away from 75. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I didn't even notice. That's like seven more... No, a little more than that. Like nine... Ten more enemies. You know, I'm gonna let Tenzin fire off. Yeah, because he's gonna fuck shit up. In a bad way. Okay. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. No, no, no. I, I got this. There we go. If I saved that, I would have lost my second OP. I think there's another F back here. Be a catapultas respawn. Like right over that little hill. Yeah, it looks like Tenzin does not have double attack. See, so he did two swings right there, The one was a miss, and then the second one was also a miss. <clears throat> right, the chain reset. There it is. So how much is it per merit point again? I think it's only like 10k, right? So it'll be 10k per merit point. That's another 30k I'm gonna need to pull. See if this will still change. Oh, that should kind of caught me off guard there. Oh, did it berserk? It did. Okay. What to say? I was like, whoa, where did that damage come from?
Oh, thanks for stealing it, Tenzin, you cunt. Dude, what? I kind of want to dismiss him and bring in Ayame. And see what Ayame does. She'll probably, like, be the same. Here, let's get rid of him. And... You know, instead of Ayame, fuck it. Let's bring in, uh... Lion 2. Kim Zerk up, Med at 40. Alright, cool. Need two more swings. One. And two. <coughs> there we go. Now don't AoE, Sam and Lafina. Do not AoE. Okay, good. Thought she was gonna try and go for the light with the stellar arrow. Wait, are we gonna ding? Like, on this next one? We might, actually. Keg? Yep, I knew that was gonna be light. Nice. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, two more. If we if we get the chain. Oh, berserk! Nice. Ah, uh, too bad the berserk didn't didn't. Uh, Proc earlier. Stellar Arrow probably would have one shot at it. Okay, so, it's, so it's gonna take three enemies. There we go. See, that's what happens when they don't fuck me my shit up, dude. The quick, the quick and clean 1800, 1900 damage, you know? Oh shit, I done dinged, motherfuckers. What's up? Hell yeah, dude. Alright, now I can rock this shit. Badoomps! Oh, who's a badass? Who's got a dragon helmet? I do. Okay, now, now let's see. Can I switch to Merit? Nope. Gotta, gotta go home first. Okay, and while I'm over there, I'm gonna send myself the Ikad ring. Alright, 
So we're gonna talk to Matt. <coughs> I forgot if it's Matt or if it's the Moogle next to him that you talk to about merits. I think it's actually the Moogle. So what I could have actually done was, like, get 43k XP and then do this, but uh, I'm not really worried about the buffer too much right now. Alright, is it the Nomad Moogle? I think it's the Nomad Moogle. I'm a traveling Moogle, always on the road, in search of the secrets of true strength, Kubo. And this time I think I might have found one. That's why I'm visiting Matt to see what he thinks, Kubo. I've discovered a way to increase the potential of those who have reached their quote-unquote limits. However, I haven't found anyone to pass that method on to, Koopo. Hey, you look pretty tough. How would you like to be my guinea- our, um, assistant? Let's do it. Excellent, Koopo. Ahem. <clears throat> I shall now pass on to you the secrets of the Moogle Merit Management System. Use this legendary method to extend your limits. Watch as your strength soars beyond the stars, Koopo. Now, when you when the level of your main job is reached 75 or higher, a new button, merit points will appear under.